school and I've got two small kids that started later in life. And all I want to do is spend time with my, my sons. It's all I want to do. And I want to be present while I'm there, not on the cell phone, texting, emailing, late night calls, working weekends. So my entire focus is to spend time with my two little boys. And to be a provider, it takes me in the 180 degree opposite direction is to go out there and work and hustle and save money. And those two um, uh, fork in the road, those driving uh, uh, things that need to be done by me have always caused me to have a love-hate relationship with real estate, which I've been into for 22 years. Sold half a billion dollars of real estate and the second biggest team at Remax in North Carolina. We did 43 million the year that we came over to EXP in 2017. And all of that was at the expense of spending time with my boys. So when I came over to EXP, I decided to be a, uh, sort of the test lab rat or an example of how this company can change, which allowed me to have my time back. And it allowed me to build a legacy that I can pass off to my, to my family, to my sons. And it allowed me to have fun and collaboration that I had never had in this business before. It was able to strike a harmony at those two opposing um, goals that I had. So I'm very excited to show you what Super <laughs> Highway looks at like at EXP. It is lane one, which is what we've all signed up for, selling real estate. This is the lane that we go fast. This is the lane where we take chances. This is the nights and weekends and armchair therapy and all the other things that we do. This is our consultant lane. And at eXp, we have tools to help you do this at a much more productive level. We, our entire focus is to help you sell more real estate. But lane two allows you to do that without forsaking all of your time. This is the long play, guys. This is the second lane where you go in cruise control. And you earn shares of stock by this publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. The stock ticker is EXPI. And why do you earn shares of stock at this EXP company? Because it's owned by us. This is an agent-owned brokerage. And instead of getting trophies and awards, we get shares of stock. And the stock has gone from less than $3 a share when Tom and I came over three years ago to, let's see what it's trading at today, $44.60. Many of us have gotten wealthy by owning shares of stock at this company in the last three years. So that's why we're so enthusiastic. And that's why other companies are misrepresenting what we stand for, because this is a big, big story that nobody wants to have seep out. And then the last five minutes of this call, we're going to talk about the new modern team. The old team doesn't work like we wanted it to. You create a team and you develop these agents from brand new and share and pour into them and give them your leads and referrals and all of that other stuff. And then at some point they outgrow you and they compete directly against you. And the agents that you wish would leave stay with you forever. And that is the problem because the margin that you're making off these agents, despite how much value you provide them, is in, it interferes with their opportunity. So they leave. And at eXp, we have a thing called revenue share, where you can expand across eight countries with any talented person that you know, because we're a virtual campus, and it doesn't cost them to work together with you. You're able to collaborate in a way that's never been done before because we have a virtual brokerage. So I will explain to you how all of this works. The first 50 minutes of this call is lane one, and Tom is going to explain lane two. And at that point, most of you guys should have everything you need to know about how we function as an agent-owned company. But for the last group of you that are team leaders and influencers and builders and like to create empires and networkers, people that want to be the Gary Keller and not the Keller Williams agent, people that want more, well, lane three is this untraveled path on the right side. And I've been able to come over here three years ago with three agents, and I have about 1,115 agents in 26, 28 states and six countries based on this dirt gravel road on the right. So if you're interested in doing that, stick along for the last five minutes. Tom is going to uh, break that down and show you what it looks like perfectly. All right, so let's get right into the heart of the matter. We're going to start this presentation off by taking a temperature of what's going on in the industry that we spend so much time in. So most of us are doing our entire life through a digital company. 
right? Amazon is how we're getting all of our stuff, right? We're not going to Kohl's or Belk's with masks on and, and socially distancing and buying stuff and trying it out. You can't even go into a fitting room. You got to go home and then you got to go back and return it. It doesn't fit right, right? So we're not doing that. We're just getting stuff on Amazon. Very, very simple. And they put Circuit City and Toys R Us and Walmart and every brick and mortar big box uh, company on their heels or in bankruptcy court. We're actually even getting our TV and our music on Amazon so often now, right? So the way that we are getting entertained has been drastically changed by companies like Netflix and Amazon. And we're not going to travel agents anymore. We're going to Expedia, getting our hotel, our car, and our flight all in one bundled package instantly. We're not going to church services anymore or bars at night or functions. We're meeting each other online and developing you know, romantic relationships online, right? We're doing all of our trading in the stock market online. We're doing all of our banking online. We're doing everything online. So why do traditional real estate brokerage owners not want you to work virtually? Well, it's a lot harder for you to pay a big portion of your commission if you're not using their office space. So eXp is not an anti brick and mortar company. We have plenty of offices. It's just at your uh, decision, at your expense. And then we have associated ourselves with Regis Executive Spaces, which has given us access to 3,000 locations across the globe to use their executive lounge for free because of our relationship with them early on to meet clients at a high-end, modern feel type of executive workspace. So most of our job is on the road, right? That's why when you're on vacation and your iPhone is, is, is destroying you and, you're, and whoever you're with is rolling their eyes because you're on the phone, we're working everywhere. And our virtual campus gives us a much more robust way of working uh, anywhere we want. I like to do most of my work on the porch or at the beach these days. So let's just give a quick timeline of who XP is, EXP is and, and, and where we are currently in 2020. Uh, this company was founded in 09. In 2010, we were open in 11 states because we're a virtual company. So we didn't have to go buy a territory or sell a territory or have all these people um, drive into the one office in that state or that city. We were virtual. Everybody was on um, this live campus we're gonna show you here. And we were able to expand organically very quickly. In 2011, Swampol recognized us as one of the movers and shakers in the real estate industry. In 2012, Glenn Sanford, who started eXp back in 2009, was named one of the top 100 most influential people in real estate. In 2013, Glenn's vision finally came to manifest into being a eXp World Holdings, and it was publicly traded on the OTC, and all of the agents from 09 <laughs> to 2013 became shareholders. And then every agent subsequently after 2013 became shareholders because he wanted this company to be agent owned, not corporate owned. In 2014, we launched into Canada. And in 2015, Glenn implemented two very unusual features for eXp agents so we could attract the brokerage owners, the mega team leaders, the solo artists out there that are selling tons of real estate. We wanted the best, most productive agents in the country over here. So we implemented two ways to attract them. One, every single agent at eXp was now able to join the agent equity program, which cost $0. And they were able to take 5% of their commission on one deal or on all their deals, whatever they wanted, and get the stock at a 10% discount and be able to sell it right away. So if our stock is trading at $50 a share, they can go buy it at $45 and sell it the next day if it hits $52. Very cool feature, right? When you own the company, it's nice to be able to get shares of stock at a discount. In addition to that, they created this Icon Award. And this Icon Award is a milestone for agents who are able to sell enough real estate to where they get the money that they paid in out of their commission back in stock as a reward for being a high producer. Tom's going to explain that, how that works at length. In 2016, we went from being about a 500 agent company in 2015 and tripled to being a 1500 agent company in 2016. It was the first year we had true traction. In 2017, Tom and I joined. They forgot to put that on the timeline, so I'll just let you know verbally. In 2018, we reached 10,000 agents and Glassdoor had us as the best place to work both in 18, 19, and 20. Also in 2018, eXp joined the NASDAQ and we were in Times Square 
We opened up all 50 states. We are now geographically the largest real estate company in the country in over 430 markets. Glenn Sanford bought Showcase to where we have an IDX feed. So we are in every single MLS in the United States. In, in 2018, also, Glenn was considered the award owner for a broker owner and Inman innovator uh, uh, in 2018. We actually have grown faster than any other real estate company that's ever existed in the business. It took uh, Caldwell Banker 68 years to hit 10,000 agents that we hit in 2018. It took Keller Williams 18 years that broke the record. It took us about seven and a half, eight years to hit that number. So our agent count, of course, has been parallel with our growth, right? So in 2014, 15, 16, we were still getting the software and Virabella, which we bought in 2019, I think, or 2018, 2019 for $10 million. We were getting our relationship with them squared and making sure that when we had 50 agents join in the virtual world, the whole system didn't crash, right? But 2016 was that first year where we tripled our agent count. By the end of 2016, we were roughly around 1,500 agents. By the end of 2017, Tom and I were here at that point for just a couple months. Uh, we hit 5,000 agents at the convention in October of 2017. By 2018, we were at around 7,500 agents. In 2019, 15,000 agents. In 2020, we closed at about 25,000 agents. Right now, we are at 37,000 agents, adding about 2,600 agents per month. We have not just gone to all 50 states in the United States, but we are in all of Canada. We are in all of Australia. We're in all four countries in the UK, thanks to Barry Pulver, who opened up the UK right from where we all live here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we had just released South Africa and had the grand opening with South Africa last week. We have India, Portugal, France, and Mexico all green lighted to open this year. We also have two more countries that we are trying to open this year. This is the fastest international growing company that's ever existed. In the UK, we are what took Keller Williams six years to achieve in 10 months. We are growing exponentially. What we are not is the left side of the screen where you have a typical brokerage that you own or that you work for and you rent your career, right? We're telling homeowners not to rent their careers, but we're giving 20, 30, $100,000 of our commission to a brokerage every single year, despite the fact that we're getting all the business from the outside world and are bringing it back to the mothership, right? These brokerage owners have problems too. Most of them are still working in the business. I can't tell you how many brokerage owners that are still selling real estate. They have costly overhead. They have franchise fees in many choices. They have desk fees. They're locally confined. They can't sell outside of their couple zip codes. They have inconsistent growth incentives. Only the owner or a paid salaried recruiter grows agent count for their company. And that's why they don't grow very big. They have limited technology and support. All of the backend and technology that we have at eXp that's hundreds of millions of dollars, they don't have access to because they can't afford to generate it. Well, these brokerage owners started to look at eXp and say, listen, if I could keep the autonomy of my brokerage name and the, and, and, and the, the niche of business that we do and power it by eXp, we can bring our brokerage over here or we can sell our franchises and come over here and get more technology and leverage this model to play on a bigger map. So with the cloud campus environment, no desk fees, you can work from anywhere. We have a 600 employees, uh, uh, employees live in our cloud campus waiting to support us. Uh, we have live training in our cloud campus between 50 and 100 hours per week, normally roughly around 80 hours a week. The top 1% of our top producing agents are the trainers. Real-time support. Go get a transaction handled, accounting handled. Go get paid on your commission the same day. I used to have to wait seven days to get paid on a commission that would take me sometimes four or five months to close, right? So here at eXp, we get a closing disclosure agreement emailed to us. We respond that everything's fine. It goes to the paralegal and they wire us our commissions before eXp even receives their physical check. Very cool stuff here. International collaboration. I have 114 estate agents that Barry introduced me to because he grew agents in the UK and we have collaborative meetings. We learn how about how their business works. We've watched a couple of these uh, uh, UK guys that are so phenomenal on video that we've taken more than a lesson or two from them. 
So it's a way for, they see the self-employed model, something they, they weren't aware of. So we're collaborating now with other shareholders at this company, which is now 37,000 and growing. Powerful equity ownership. When was the last time that you left a brokerage and you got a check? Never happens. You're leaving with a box with your laptop and your files at two in the morning. This business is changing. It doesn't have to operate that way. As a shareholder and having a robust technology platform for you to sell real estate on, earn stock in a publicly traded company and expand your team anywhere in the globe, we have the ability for us to, to work and use two other ancillary ways to, to safeguard our retirement, not being 70 years old and being much younger. The average agent is 58 years old and a third of them don't have health care. We have a very broken industry, guys. We have the ability here to address these issues and we're gonna address them now in the next five, 10 minutes. Live training. At my old firm, we used to have an agent who was a very, very sweet woman who sold about three to four houses a year. And she would train all the new agents on how to sell three or four houses a year. And I remember sitting in that class thinking to myself, what if I wanna sell three or four houses a week? Who's gonna train me? Well, they didn't have anybody in that office that was willing to volunteer their time to teach me on how to compete directly against them, right? It's counterintuitive. At eXp, we're shareholders. So the top agents in the country train in the cloud campus and they don't worry about you taking their secrets because most of the time you're in Kansas or Connecticut and they're in New Mexico or in California or in Miami. So we have the ability to, to collaborate in a way that has never been incentivized and never been um, a supported in the way that it is at eXp. We learn from the industry experts and top producers about sales and listings, lead generation, which we have built into our model. I'll explain more. Social media, CRM and, techno and technology tools. If you don't know what a CRM is, you're probably only communicating with your favorite clients and all the other clients are going to another agent. So you're having to reinvent the lead generation wheel every year. We're gonna to talk to you about that at length. We're gonna tap into archive record sessions. All of our training is live and it's also recorded if you have an appointment to make. Our live training is the most robust live training that's ever existed by the top agents in the country, the people that are making $25 million off gross revenue from selling real estate the top videographers, the top social media experts, disc personality types. We have the guy Robert from Shark Tank teaching in our cloud uh, in November, right? What does our university look like? Well, it looks like this. We have these avatars. My avatar is about 10 pounds less and has less gray hair and walks faster and looks sharp if I'm in a robe drinking black coffee. This is the way that we interact digitally. If I want to meet my team of 1,100 agents, we can go in specialized rooms. All of our names and where we sell out of are above our heads and our microphone, uh, you can unmute and it's your voice just like Zoom. Frankly, I don't even like Zoom. We don't even need Zoom. The only reason why we use Zoom is because so many of you on this call are looking at eXp for the first time. So we'll use a medium that you're comfortable with so you show up, right? But once you're at eXp, we use this cloud technology. Stanford University is using this technology. We bought Virabella, which is the only company sophisticated enough to make this. And we are now talking to Fortune 500 companies about having their, age, their, their employees remotely work off this digital campus and never, ever return back to the brick and mortar antiquated expense list that they're so happy to shed. Our auditorium is this picture on the right. This is how we learn. We're gonna have our convention here in November there will be 25, 30,000 of us sitting in these seats, listening live to the most influential, productive, successful people in the country. Train us, uh, uh, update us on our shares of stock. Tell us about our new healthcare. Tell us about our new buyer, uh, iBuyer system. Our daily training, our weekly meetings, I listen to on my app, on my Bluetooth, in a heated leather chair in my car, instead of driving 30 minutes to a gathering of 50 agents standing six feet apart, drinking bad coffee and listening to the vendors that brought it for an hour. It's not efficient. It's not, a, it's not an investment of my time. We do all of it efficiently here on the digital campus. This is what it looks like. The UK guys gave us a beating on a soccer field out here. We have boat rides. We have all kinds of different things for you to check out here in the virtual cloud. If you haven't been on it, whoever invited you on this call can get you a free pass. If you are with eXp, you go into the world, you click the right arrow next to your avatar, it says invite 
somebody, you go in there, put their phone number, their name, and their email, and then you can meet them in the cloud in five minutes, help them dress up as an avatar, and show them what our office space looks like. It's different. We have an eXp enterprise. This is our dashboard for everything that matters. When was the last time you guys had a dashboard for your business? Well, first of all, you didn't own any of the company, so you didn't have to check your stock share, right? Um, most of the time, it was a very primitive, like, a, 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 you know, infrastructure set up with non-proprietary uh, uh, softwares for you to manage your forms, right? Here at eXp, we own the technology of this company. We did use Skyslope to upload all of our forms. We'll show you what that looks like. But this homepage allows you to check your dashboard and see what the pulse of your business looks like. It allows you to create a profile because you have 37,000 agents giving one shareholder to another referrals from all over the country. We have agents in Charlotte, North Carolina that did three or $4 million of business by checking out uh, their workplace, which is our Facebook, checking that constantly for referrals coming from other EXP agents. Why would an EXP agent give a, a Remax agent a referral? They wouldn't. It's so easy to give it to an EXP agent. And we use our own Facebook, created by Facebook, we'll show you what that looks like, to do just that. We have finance. You can go in there and check what your team across the country is selling and how much money you're earning for bringing them and introducing them to EXP. We have a compounding organic growth scale for the new modern team at EXP, and you don't have to do it out of the kindness of your heart. EXP compensates you for it, not out of the agent's commission, out of their own gross revenue. They take 50% of the gross revenue this company makes, and they pay it back to the agent in stock and for building out teams. Very cool setup here. Transactions, I'm able to click on transactions and see exactly what I have going on and how much gross commission income I've made that year. I don't have to manually calculate it. I can contact support with an email, I can go into the cloud, or I can go into our Facebook and send them a message. Agent directory, I can see every agent across eight countries on the agent directory. And then I have all of these uh, social media feeds and my KV core generation, lead generation, and all of the stuff that we're gonna get into is all here, one-stop shopping on our eXp enterprise. So I mentioned SkySlope. Uh, dot loop uh, is a common one. Um, what's the other one called? Uh, Omni, oh, can't remember the name of it. They're all similar uh, uh, contract management systems, right? So our contact management system most importantly has a high level of security. We're able to upload our listing contracts. We're a totally green company and we're able to send it out using DigiSign to our clients and then store it in Skyslope. And what happens is we get blind audits from our brokers and our assistants to our brokers, and they review our files and make sure that all of our initials and signatures are in place to make sure that we have all the right forms so we don't go to real estate jail. And when you submit the last uh, HUD statement to the deal, they actually wire you your commission check. That is the way for them to help us make sure that our files are clean and in order. It also allows us not to have to have these big printers and scanners and leases of yesterday. We've got one behind us that we've kept over the years and be totally uh, paperless in this, in this new working uh, digital immersive company. We have Workplace by Facebook. I just touched on it for a second. So Workplace is Facebook for professionals. Mark Zuckerberg is taking 50% of his Facebook employees from COVID-19 and having them work exclusively on workplace to remove the old expenses of having them report to an office that has been now closed for seven months. Workplace is the exact same interface as Facebook. So for all of us adult learners on this call, don't worry about it. There's no acclimation. It's exactly what you're used to doing. Now, how do we use Facebook? Well, we have 37,000 of us sharing referrals, showing how our digital listing presentations look like. We have contests. We get EXP announcements. We have state group meetings on here. We have water cooler chat for tips and tricks. You wanna learn what geo farming looks like. You wanna learn how to prospect. We have YouTube sensations show you how to use video. We have XCamp. We have our convention and our shareholders meeting uh, information through here. We have our own small private referral groups. We have our city groups. We have our team groups that interact here. This is our social media conduit for community. And we use it here like no other company has. So if I have a, a referral from Lake Norman that sold a $900,000 house, I got a 3% commission. I got paid the same day. 
Uh, they came in through my lead generation, which is our next slide. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I said, listen, you guys are moving to the Great Lakes. I know a great agent out in Michigan. My buddy Hank sells real estate out there. I give him Hank's information. I send Hank uh, a, a thing on work chat, say, hey, listen, I want a 25% referral. They're looking at spending $900,000 out where you're at. Hank says, no problem. Sends me my referral agreement through DigiSign. I get it back in two minutes. And then when they land, Hank goes on our own workplace created by Facebook and does a Facebook Live with me and says, hey, Rich, here's your clients. Say hello to Rich. This is what Lake Michigan looks like. This is the house they're buying. And I'll keep giving you live video updates on what your client looks like. I said, Hank, this is great. Thank you so much. This is the way that you get referrals, not by having a, 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 an intermediate a broker in the deal that has a 40% <laughs> referral rate. It's agent to agent, shareholder to shareholder, giving referrals back and forth to each other. In Charlotte, uh, our agents that are that are tapping into this and first responders that build out a really cool profile, they are doing three, four million dollars a year. I know an agent in Nashville where we're, my wife and I are building a house that went from six million to 18 million just by dominating the Asheville workspace. We only have a few agents in Asheville. When Tom and I came over to Charlotte, there was about 45, 50 agents that were just selling real estate and not really collaborating. We came over and started doing lunch and learns. And now we have over a thousand agents, many of them in our downline, most of them. And we are able to, to, to work with these agents and feed into them and help them build out their organizations. And we created all these groups and events. Our last event that we had was a convention uh, uh, center in Charlotte where we had 850 people come and listen to Glenn Sanford who created the company fly out here and talk about industry and where technology is going and how important it is to combat Zillow and what Redfin's doing and he gave us a uh, sort of an Inman uh, uh, lecture on where the business is going and his perspective and how EXP is navigating around that to be able to survive the change that is coming down the pipeline. Right, So we have the ability here to work at EXP in a collaborative way that not only brings us all together, but actually has dominated our Charlotte market. We have 15,000 realtors in the Charlotte MLS. We did $1.3 billion of sales after three years of being out here. This year, it's going to be about $1.4, $1.5 billion of sales. We're the number one office in the Charlotte MLS, and no one even heard of EXP three years ago. There was like a few dozen people. So part of how we grew is that we understood one very simple concept. We need to make agents owners and we need to make agents lead generators. So if you are not paying for lead generation right now, you are as good as your sphere of influence, right? So we have KV Core, which used to be called Conversion. And we have made a deal with them to where it's part of our EXP package for free. And it would cost you between six and eight hundred dollars a month and fifteen hundred dollars to set it up if you call them right now at the firm that you're at. Right. So we collaborated with a lead generator that helped our agents sell more real estate. KD Core is a lead generator generator that not only gives you your website, but it uses predictive behavior and artificial intelligence to help you communicate with people that you put into your contact manager. So for example, I create my own web page and all my agent, all my clients use my web page instead of being on Zillow. And intuitively, it starts to see what my clients are searching for, despite what they told me the parameters should be, and starts sending them properties uh, just using predictive behavior and artificial intelligence intuitively on what they're looking for. So they said, hey, Rich, send me houses between five and six in the school zone. Well, they're only looking at houses between seven and eight. It starts sending them stuff that they're actually interested in. And then it sends me a reminder that this is a good time to talk to, to, talk to them because their activity is up. Their screen time has increased, right? So it's doing the co-pilot stuff for you while you're busy out there selling real estate. You also get unlimited landing pages. So I can create a Facebook ad campaign with a landing page that says homes in this neighborhood, click here. As soon as they click there, they go into my contact manager and my contact manager while I'm showing other clients is sending them property while I'm showing other houses. It leverages you. And it also uh, creates a structure for you to have a contact manager that keeps increasing. And you can drip them emails, videos, text messages, whatever is within your discernment of being tasteful constantly through this lead generator. So our contact manager and our lead generator is all 
a built-in one system called KV Core. EXP provides it to all of us when they come over to sell real estate. If you want to know how to go from selling, you know, five million a year to selling fifty million a year to selling two hundred million a year, you need a good contact manager and a lead generator to leverage your time and get you organized. EXP is very, very steadfast on making sure that they do not take your identity. All of our business cards at EXP look totally different. You brand your brokerage, or you brand your team, or you brand your own personal name. We don't need you to have our name front and center on your sign because we are a platform for you to run your business, not our business. We're a technology company built for real estate professionals to thrive. If you don't have logos and you don't have a brand and identity, we have stuff that you can have here, just like this picture on the left with EXP nice and big and your face on there. But most of us have understood the importance of branding. Most of my clients, I've sold half a billion dollars of real estate in the zip code that Tom and I sell out of. Most of them didn't even know what company I worked at because I always wanted to detach myself from the company because I was building my brand. EXP encourages you to do that. We have marketing and branding tools on our dashboard that EXP Enterprise that are so unbelievable, you can never go down the rabbit hole. Merchandise, cups, your signs, hats, t-shirts, door hangers, letterhead, brochures, flyers, luxury, commercial, anything you can imagine. Five, literally 5,000 templates of flyers for you to drag your photo and enter your new house information for and have cutting edge, high quality marketing tools. You get a thousand business cards when you sign up for eXp. They can look like this picture on the left or they can look like how you want yours to look like. Mine look like this, different, right? So anything that you want your company to look like, eXp wants it to look like that as well. Our marketing department even has social media memes and all kinds of things to post. When you're on our Facebook and it says EXP announcements, we just announced healthcare this year. I'm able to just share that on my main Facebook, right? We are able to constantly not have to be creative and generate all this marketing material. EXP has paid the top marketing people in the country to constantly be adding more marketing merchandise, more tools for us there more data, more stuff to share. So not only is the average agent in the United States 58 years old, but one third of them don't even have health insurance. So when they enrolled health insurance for us this year, I took my wife and my two sons and myself and I put us on there. And my Blue Cross Blue Shield policy that was charging us $14.50 a month dropped down to $8.55 at eXp. My deductible, I paid $31,000 in medical expenses through my corporation last year. Our deductible here is $12,500 plus $50 co-pays. So I'll probably end up about $16,000 paid out. Our doctors stayed the same. The only thing that changed is our bill and the health insurance card that was in my wallet has a different look. We have the ability to sign up for three different kinds of health plans at eXp. If your health plan that you signed up for needs to be downgraded or upgraded, you can do it mid-year. If you have um, a partner or a spouse that lost their job during COVID and you lost your, your health insurance and went to COBRA, bring them on ours. We have the ability here to finally have healthcare for us because everybody gets sick and there's so many agents that are flying solo doing this tightrope uh, uh, in this business. And as soon as they get sick, their income goes away. There's no residual income. There's no ownership in their brokerage and even worse, no one to help them with their medical bills. So that no longer has to exist. You do now finally have a choice at eXp. So let's get into what our commission splits are. We have no desk fees, no royalty fees, no franchise fees ever. If you're selling real estate in multiple states, you don't have to pay different franchise owners uh, uh, for selling real estate and get double dipped out of your commission splits. Here, I could sell real estate in Alaska and Florida and North Carolina as long as I'm licensed in those states and it all goes toward one international cap. If you don't know what a cap is, that means that you're endlessly paying commission in. A cap is like a deductible where you will never pay more than $16,000 to eXp on an 80-20 commission split. eXp takes a 20% commission split and once that hits $16,000, they graduate you to a 100% commission and only when you're at 100% commission, they implement a $250 transaction fee. 
Okay, so no transaction fee, but once you're at 100%, they add a $250 transaction fee. Now, what's very cool is that the $16,000 that you pay in, eXp recycles $8,000 of that cap back to us as agent owners uh, through shares of stock or through revenue share, which is lane three. We'll expand upon that in a minute. You have a $25 broker review fee per transaction, and you have a $40 E&O insurance per transaction until you pay $500 in. At that point, it goes away. Now, once you do 20 transactions at 100%, you're considered an icon agent, and they drop the $250 transaction fee to $75. Now, what is an icon agent again? It's the coolest thing that can happen to you at this company. <laughs> they give you the $16,000 back in stock. So you retroactively work for 100% commission. And that stock going from $2.87 to $44.60 today has created millionaires that have done nothing differently than what they've always done. At other firms, you're walking up a staircase endlessly until you retire. At eXp, you're walking up an escalator, burning the same amount of calories. You're just getting up there much faster because of the ownership play. So that is our entire lengthy eXp commission split structure. Pretty simple. Now we do have some costs associated at eXp. There's an $85 a month brokerage fee. And what do you get from that? Well, a lot, a lot more than it would cost, <laughs> uh, cost me to start my own brokerage and have a $3,000 lease and five employees and have to go buy and build a website and go have to pay for KB Core like everybody else does. And then have to spend thousands of dollars on having sky slope so I can make sure my agents uh, can upload their forms and I can review them. And then having to build a relationship with zip forms so I can even have forms to start with. And then having 600 people in the cloud support <laughs> my agents when I'm sleeping. We are open from 9 till 8 p.m. Uh, uh, live in the cloud. And it's going to be 24-7. All of that for 85 bucks a month. We have two transaction fees, as I mentioned, the broker review fee. And then the 40-hour E&O insurance that caps at $500. And then a one-time startup fee. Consider this, you're, you're owning your own virtual brokerage entrepreneurial fee. For $149, I get KV Core, my website, Skyslope, Zip Forms, unlimited education by the top 1% in the cloud. Um, I get my virtual office. I get every single thing that I need. I get healthcare. We have an iBuyer program now where you can bring to your listing appointment an offer on their house if you qualify, right? We have a mentorship program where you can get 10% of the brand new agent's first three transactions for giving them support. You have to get certified. They take it very seriously. We are the best company for new agents that's ever existed. Our millennials love it. It's live education, education that's not from 1975. It's by the top most influential, innovative uh, people in the marketplace, the people that you're looking at on social media. Uh, it's our social media is taught by 25 year olds, not 75 year olds. And our relationship building is taught by 75 year olds, right? We have the people that specialize in things that they've learned very well, all live. $149, you get a thousand business cards, 10 folders for your listing presentations and access to this robust technology, immersive virtual company where you can get stock that's traded on the NASDAQ that has technology in it, not just real estate. And you also have the ability to expand your team. I brought over 50 agents over the last three years, which is not a record. And that has turned into over 1,100 agents that have built a residual income for my wife and I that I can have my, my two boys inherit when one of them gets a license at 18. If you are a domestic partnership or a husband and wife team, you share your $16,000 cap here at eXp. If you run a team that sells over $6 million of business, you can bring your team in and have your team members at an $8,000 cap. You can structure the commission that your team gets at whatever you want. We have some basic requirements that you have to have to qualify for this, but you can keep them at a 50-50. You can have them uh, uh, graduate to the 80-20 or to the 100%, like all of us are. There's no special deals. Agents that sell 2,000 houses a year are the same commission structure as an agent that just did their fourth deal. Very cool here. Okay. Um, EXP is a model that is agent owned, built around the problems and blind spots that have uh, had this industry at hostage for decades. 
So I'm going to turn it over to my co-pilot here. This is Tom Hawker, and he is going to talk to you about Lane 2. Lane 2 is how you earn shares at EXP. All right. Thanks, Rich. Great job. Um, okay. So I'm going to Rich, your microphone. Okay. All right, so uh, great job, Rich. I'm going to kind of uh, touch back on a couple of things Rich said before I get into lane two and lane three. So Rich touched on a little bit of an overview of the company, uh, where we were back in, in 2009. He spoke about Glenn Sanford, the founder. He spoke about our model, our timeline from 2009, when Glenn was just starting out, to 2020 with now 37,000 agents across the country and internationally. He spoke about all our growth, which is phenomenal. Then he touched on the analogy we use, right, of the three-lane highway. He got into lane one, which is essentially your model versus the EXP model, all right? The EXP model has a high split with a low cap. It gives you an opportunity to icon, which basically lets you outperform the model and work for over 100%. All right. He told you about our training, our lead generation with KV Core, our website, our technology, our tools such as Workplace, the cloud office, the enterprise, which is our dashboard for all our business. God, there is so much here. If you don't like any of that stuff, then maybe EXP is not for you. But I really believe that this is the best company. It's got more tools, training, technology, splits, everything else than any other company out there. It is the whole package. All right. If that didn't get you to sit up a little bit straighter in your chair. What I'm gonna show you right now, I think really will, all right? So uh, again, back to our three lane um, analogy of EXP, lane one is the commissions, which Rich talked about. Lane two here is our stock. And you get stock with this company no matter what, whether you like it or not, you are going to be a shareholder after that first transaction that you complete. And with our stock, we get five ways of earning stock. The first four are gifted to you. That's amazing, it's a gift. For, listen, I've been with a lot of companies, and the only thing that I ever got from a gift uh, for, for all my hard work was a handshake and maybe a dinner. <clears throat> so here, this is how it works. You come on over, and after your first transaction, EXP will gift you $200 worth of EXPI stock. When I first got here, we were an over-the-counter stock. People used to say, well, it's a penny stock. You know, it's over-the-counter, big deal. Well, guess what? That all changed in 2018 when we hit the NASDAQ. When we had 10,000 agents, we uplisted to the NASDAQ, and now we were playing with the big boys. That same year, only 50 companies in the world were added onto the NASDAQ, and we were one of them, all right? So, so you come over, you have your first transaction, $200 worth of stock, pretty nice, all right? Let's say you like the model so much that you want to tell somebody else about it. That person comes on over, they go to right to work, they have their first tra transaction, what do they get? $200, right? But because you attracted that agent, EXP recognizes that and gives you $400 worth of stock on their first transaction. Wow, look at that. Again, I brought people over to the companies that I was with prior to EXP. I never got anything for it. So when I cap at EXP, which is $16,000 company dollars, EXP recognized that. And as a congratulations, they give me another $400 worth of stock. So you see, I just got $200 gifted to me on my first transaction, $400 uh, if somebody I attracted to EXP has a closing and another $400 when I cap, that's roughly 2.7 million in volume. Okay. So if you're doing those numbers, you're going to get these stock automatically. An icon agent, Rich indicated what an icon agent was. It was selling roughly 2.7 million in volume or capping, right? 16,000 to the company and doing another 20 transactions. And a transaction can be defined as a sale, a lease, or a referral. Just doesn't have to be a sale. Any one of those things, three things. So if you do 20 of those after capping, EXP will reward you with the $16,000 you paid into them at an 80-20 split. They're going to give it back to you in a form of stock. So you can see with just these gifted programs, you can outperform the model and make over 100% commission with EXP. It's unheard of, guys. It's never been available to us before. Now, those are the four ways to uh, get gifted stock. We also have one way to get stock that's a buy-in program, but it's at a discount. So you can do this to every transaction, some transactions or no transactions at all if you don't want to. But on the agent equity program, you could take 5% of your commission and advise EXP to purchase the EXPI stock for you, but at a 10% discount. 
So let's do the numbers. Let's use $10,000 commission check, all right? Out of the $10,000 gross commission check, you would take 5% or $500 out of that commission and EXP would purchase it for you at a 10% discount. <clears throat> so at $40 a share, you're getting it for $36. So then you could take that money out the very next day if you want and put it into your Ameritrade account or anything you wanna do, or you could leave it with EXP in their account, anything you want. But the point I'm getting at is the buy-in program, the stock that you use using your own money for, you can do anything you want with as soon as you receive it. However, the sustainable equity plan and the Icon Agent Award program, the stuff that is gifted to you, there is a continual three-year vesting period. Now, when I first got on, I thought, oh man, it's a vesting period. I don't know if I like that. I don't want to wait three years. But guess what happened to me? When I got on, the stock was $2.85 a share. I had my first closing, it was about $3.15 per share. When it hit $6, I was ready to pull that, that stock out. I wanted that stock. Man, boy, I could taste it. I wanted it. But I couldn't. There was a three-year vesting period. And thank God, because what happened was October 1st, three weeks ago, I hit my three-year vesting period. And now that stock, instead of being $6 when I wanted to take it out, it was up around $45. So thank God. And that's with all my stock. So a three-year vesting period on any awarded stock and the uh, buy-in program, you can do anything you want. As soon as you get that, that's your money that you're using. You could take that out whenever. So that's our second lane. That is lane number two. And everybody gets that for being with eXp. So my experience so far is in just over three years, between the gifting and the buy-in program, I have 5,000 shares, a little over 5,000 shares worth of stock. And if you multiply that by today's uh, um, price, which is about $45, you can see how much money that I've got with this company that I would not have had with any other company. So, so that's lane two. And then we're going to jump over. <clears throat> and if, uh, if lane one and two weren't good enough, now we have lane three. Keep in mind, if you're not with eXp, you're still in lane one. You negotiated a commission split with your current company, and that's what you live and die by. Lane two, we're going to have the stock. And lane three, this is completely up to you if you want to join this or not. You do not have to be part of lane three, but I do believe in it, so I am a part of it. So this is how lane three works. It's called our expansion team model or our revenue share. And just so you know, any money that you earn through this uh, lane is going to be directly deposited into your account on a 22nd of each month which creates a positive cash flow or revenue share stream for you every month. So this is how it works. <clears throat> Rich invited me over. And when Rich invited me over, I saw what he was doing with this model, especially this third lane. And I really liked the opportunity that I had the same opportunity to do it as Rich did. So I went to work just like Rich did. And I started attracting agents because I believe in the company and I believe in the model and everything about it. So I reach out to an agent in South Charlotte, Holly Evans. Holly's a big producer. She has a team. I talk to her about the model. She likes the idea. She sees the opportunity just like I saw it. So she was a big producer with KW. She leaves KW and she comes over to EXP. So now Holly starts producing at a high level at EXP. Now what happens is I get a little referral off of all her production until she hits her cap okay, which is 100%. Once she goes to 100%, there's no more money for EXP to give out. So I can't make any more money off of her. So what happens is let's use that same $10,000 commission. She has a $10,000 commission. She's on an 80-20 split, right? But I'm going to get 3.5% of that gross commission, which is $350. I'm not getting it out of her 8,000 on her 80-20 split or that $10,000 total. I'm getting it out of EXP's $2,000 portion. So EXP gives me $350 off of her $10,000 and it's wired to my account on the 22nd of the next month. I like that, but that keeps happening. And every time Holly has a transaction, I make 3.5% of her production until, until I earn $2,800 off of her. Once I've earned $2,800 off of her, that means there's no more money. Why? Because she just trans transitioned from an 80-20 split to 100% commission. She just capped. So there's no more money to be given out. So am I going to get rich off of Holly's $2,800 per year? No, I'm not. It's very nice to have, but I'm not, it's not going to change my lifestyle. But guess what? 
I can have more than one Holly. I can have as many as I want. So as many people that I talk to and come over to and decide to come over to EXP, those are my level ones. I'm going to get 3.5% of all of their production until they all cap. Now, if they don't cap, right, maybe they don't sell roughly $2.7 million a year in volume. Maybe they do about 1.4. That's okay. Instead of making a $2,800 off of them, I might only make $1,400 off of them that year. It's based off of their production, how much they do. But the maximum I'll make ever off of anybody I personally introduced to this is $2,800. Okay. So again, Holly comes over, she's selling at a high, high level. She likes the opportunity of this revenue share or this expansion team model. So she decides to bring somebody on. But she goes down into South Carolina. She goes to Columbia and brings over Lance Woodley. Lance runs his own team down in South Carolina. He's had his own boutique real estate company for years and years and years. But guess what? Lance is fed up with all the bookkeeping, all the accounting, all the training and the technology and all the minutia that comes with your own business. So he sees EXP as a way out of it. So Lance comes on over and now Lance plugs into EXP. And now guess what? He's my level two. He's Holly's level one, but he would be my level two because I didn't personally introduce Lance to the EXP model. Holly did. So now Lance starts selling. I get this and this, which is 4% of his production on every single closing. Again, $10,000 commission, I'm going to make $400 off of him. And I'm going to keep making 4% off of him until he caps. And at that point, I will have earned $3,200 off Lance. So, so that's pretty nice. And now Lance wants to bring somebody on. They'd be my level three, four, five, and so on. So I am going to earn money seven levels down. And I might have only known Holly, or maybe I did know Lance, but I'm sure not going to know my level three, four, five, six, or seven people. So is this a, a phenomenal model, something that Glenn Sanford made up? No, it's not. This is the KW model. This was created by Gary Keller, except they have so much brick and mortar and so much overhead, they can only pay out on a profit. EXP does not have that overhead. Without the brick and mortar, EXP can pay out on the gross commission. So it's much, much more powerful, all right? Now, but to keep it sustainable, EXP also had to put in some qualifiers. So what they did was say, we will pay everybody up to 3.5% on anybody they personally introduced to EXP. However, if they wanna get paid on level two, they have to personally bring over five people to EXP. Not per year, but over the course of their lifetime, over the course of their career. To get paid on level three, you have to introduce 10, 15 on four, 20, 25, and 40 people unlocks this whole algorithm where you will get paid up to seven levels deep. So, so again, going back to myself, here's an example for me. I've come over just over three years ago. I've introduced 13 people to this model, all right? I'm not running as fast as Rich, but I'm running faster than a lot of people because the average person brings over between one and a half and two people to EXP per year. So I brought over 13 people in three years. Those 13 people brought over 52 people. Pretty cool. Those 52 people brought over another 55. Those 55 brought over 17 and so on and so forth. So I'm not just getting paid on my 13. I'm getting paid on all of them. As long as I've unlocked every level, 13 has unlocked three levels for me. So I'm getting paid off of my 13 plus the 55 plus the, 50, plus the 52 plus the 55. I got people on my level four. I have 17 on level four, but I'm not getting paid on them because I've only brought 13. To unlock that level, I got to bring over two more people. So I am incentivized to unlock level four to unlock that money. So that's how this expansion team model works. All right. It's a way for us to create a retirement for ourselves. And this is our lane three and our three lane analogy. This is our off ramp of our career. This is where you could take years off of the back end of your career and go and enjoy retirement. Rich mentioned the average agent is 58 years old. Why is that? Think about it. It's because we don't have a retirement plan. The only ones with a plan in place are the indie owners, the owners of those independent boutiques or those franchises. Until EXP came along, we had nothing like this. Now we have our retirement.
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw it on back, guys. Um, I'm going to throw it back to Rich. He's going to close this out, and then we're going to open up for any questions that you guys might have. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. This is the most complicated thing to explain, so I'm, I'm, I apologize. Tom has to do all that heavy lifting uh, every week, but he does it so well. Um, you know, Tom came over as a solo agent, and now he's got almost 150 agents that have built a safety net for him to have residual income. And the best part about that is he gets paid on what he did yesterday, not what's in his pipeline. And then he also sold $10 million uh, last year in business, which he forgot to tell you. So it's an and now. It's not an or. Yeah, uh, and his revenue share uh, 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 last month was more than most agents uh, uh, made in commission on, on, a, on a healthy year. So we have the ability to do a few things here at once uh, and get paid for doing things that we've always done and never gotten paid on. This company has grown from one man's idea to 37,000 agents organically. No recruiters, no headhunters, no managers to do that stuff. It's one agent handpicking out another colleague that they'd like to work with and building a relationship. Last thing is that all the agents that came over to EXP, you have access to their knowledge. Like, so for example, some of the people that came over right before me sell over $100 million a year of being able to learn how to, how to farm, how to um, uh, do social media, uh, how to get into REO, all kinds of uh, information being tapped and using uh, that, those connections through workplace and, and coaching each other and everything. So all of that's available for you at eXp. If this feels like a good fit, uh, circle back to the person who invited you uh, uh, to this meeting. Uh, at this last part here, we have a Q&A. Uh, if anybody would like to ask any questions, uh, unmute your microphone and I can slow it down and go back to some of the slides that we went over fast. We're trying to condense a lot of information in about an hour's worth of time. So uh, feel free to unmute. And if anybody wants me to go over a slide that we went over fast, I'm happy to do so at this point. Anyone? Anyone? Rich, what were the what was to unlock level five and six? Five agents that you directly bring over in the course of your entire career unlock level two. Ten unlock level three. Fifteen unlock level four. 20 unlock level five, 25 unlocks level six, and 40 unlocks level seven. Only three okay. out of 37,000 agents unlock level seven last month. So EXP is right. benefiting from the growth of the company as well. <laughs> if that makes sense to you. Can you tell me the percents that you, 3.54% yeah. on level two? That's right. So what happens is that if you don't unlock any levels, you're going to get this expansion share. The small percentage, but if you do unlock them, you get this plus this. So it's 4% on level two, 2.5% 2 on level three, 1.5% on level four, 1% on level five, two and a half on level six, and five, which is the most lucrative level on level seven. And they made that very hard to, or almost unreachable uh, by design. Well, it keeps everybody working hard. Yeah. Well, it, it keeps everybody working, you know, otherwise people like you would leave and it'd be like, oh, I'd rather hear it from you. It's a, and Tom Hawker, because you've done it, you know? It's a four minute mile, which is which right. is nice to run when you're running against other people trying to get there. Absolutely. Thanks for that. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thanks for that. Anybody else have any other questions? Rich, I just have a comment. Yeah, go right ahead. One thing that you talk about, but you you really can't understand it until you are actually at EXP. I'm four years at EXP. I was at the Remax for 17 years. <clears throat> you and I were both at Remax at the same time, and we would have never met because no. there was never a reason. And you share your information. I'm in Dallas, Texas, and I'm in Wisconsin. And without the EXP platform, there is so much international, regional, US collaboration. It's just unbelievable. And you, you can talk about it all you want, but until you actually experience it, it it's a, the most amazing thing about eXp. I totally agree. Kevin and I are partners in this company. We both own shares of stock that keeps increasing as we do our job. And, um, you know, why would you not want uh, to spend time with another shareholder and let the, the rising tide lift all the boats? So it's, it's, a, it's a very unique forum 
for agents that are totally used to competing against other agents in the office, getting frustrated with other agents, selling real estate for 20, 30 years, burning out, and then retiring and trying to live on social security and what they saved. Right back in 2007, how many of you guys were saving hundred grand a year? Nobody, right? Unless you were an REO asset manager, uh, uh, unicorn, you know? So the, the market's gonna have its peaks and valleys. Uh, real estate cycles have always existed and always will. But we have a lot of competing technology right now that's going on. Like for example, all of you guys on this call that are spending two or $3,000 a month on Zillow, they're gonna start sell their own real estate. Those leads are gonna go away. So the, the way that the market is moving, I think having technology and having systems in place to help sell real estate and, and regain your independence are gonna be crucial to surviving the changes that this industry has set uh, upon us here. So uh, we, we have that game plan in place back from 2009. And now with COVID in 2020, people are starting to shake their heads and say, oh, the virtual real estate campus, I get it, I get it. All right, anybody else have any other questions? So we will do this phone call next Wednesday, 10 a.m. We do it live every week. Some are better than others, depends on how much sleep Tom and I got. And feel free to invite other people over here. And if there's anything we can do to help you out in the meantime, reach out to us and reach out to the person who invited you on this call. That person's trying to, to throw you a, a, a lifesaver, right? So just take a good look at it and see if it works for you. Thank you, everybody.